Good afternoon everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm just coming on to share with you some cards I've made. This is part of um, cards by Kate Fletcher's uh, Coronavirus Challenge and this is week four and, and for this week she showed us how to make what she calls joy cards and so um, they're quite interesting cards because they open <laughs> like this so so you have um you have your card so it, it looks like a six by six card and then this is the bit that opens out and then you can write on it here and then you have this other flap which goes out so basically you have um, a piece of card and another piece of card which you stick into it and then you mat and layer three different types of papers onto it that match and then you decorate this bit so you either put a topper or whatever so i've chosen to decorate mine rather than use toppers so this one i've made it as an 80th birthday card and um it just says have a fabulous birthday and i've put 80 here in diamante stickers and here there is a leaf which actually matches the colour of this um, base and then I've just stuck these beautiful paper flowers on. Now uh, this is also part of my no spend um, use up my stash challenge because um, all of these flowers have been gifted to me, these diamantes were gifted to me and I think this leaf also so uh, and the papers in fact these beautiful papers were in fact gifted to me as well. So for the base, I used um, some card from the works. Some, I had some of their 12 by 12 pads, which were sort of um, colored card. And so they are actually different color on the front and from the back. So it's slightly light. It's, so here you can see that there's a difference in color. I don't know whether it's showing up on the, on the camera, but anyway, so, so that was the first one. And then, um and then i made this one um which just says happy birthday here i used these pink flowers which someone had gifted me and also all of these beautiful um cut out flowers again which had been gifted to me so um and also this paper was gifted to me so um yeah so that was the second one and then the third one, I um, I actually changed the um, dimensions of the this bit because I wanted to use this paper and, and it was 4x4 four four, so I just slightly altered the dimensions that Kate gave us and now this one, I used here a topper that um, was gifted to me by Dawn I think, Shiny Silver Treasures I just, here I just put a little flower because I felt this sticker went really well with this paper and I, and I put the happy birthday there so that it actually is in the middle of the card um, and it, again yeah, that's how, how it opens out and then fin finally of the ones I've made up is this one which um, this was a topper that I had and um, I had this in my stash I've had this sticker for years in fact, so I was really glad that it kind of went with the rest of the paper. And then I found this green um, flower and this silvery, silver glittered one, which were in my stash. So I used these and this happy birthday here. Um, and again, it, so it opens out like this. Um, so those are the four cards I've made, but I thought you might like to see how it's made. So uh, I've got my fifth card here. I've got everything already cut out. So I'll just show you um, quickly how it's made. So first of all, you need a piece of card, which is 10 by six, and you score it at four inches. And that is the base of the card. So, um, and then you need another piece of card, which is nine inches by five, and you score that at four and a half, so that one actually folds in half. And then you need three pieces of paper, 
the first one is five and three quarters by five and three quarters and that that one I'm going to put down here so I'm just going to do it as I talk because um, otherwise I'll just be repeating myself so um, so I hope everybody's well and um, able and that you've got nice weather where you are um, we have just using this a minute ago everybody says the same thing don't they that when you get on camera um the glue seizes up so anyway there we go it's happened to me as well so so you glue down this piece of paper um yeah, so this is the five and three quarter by five and three quarter and i'm just going to stick that down here Sorry about that. The telephone went. Um, so, um, so the next piece of um, card I'm going to put down is for the front, and this measures five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And so, I'm just going to lay that down. Um, and as far as possible, you try to make all the edges level and. Um, equal okay and then moving on to this piece of card which was the nine by five scored at four and a half um, you want it to open this way rather than the normal way so this is going to open this way and I'm going to stick this piece of paper which is four and a quarter by four and three quarters so can see it is slightly slightly not square so um, I'm just going to stick that down anyway as I was saying you know the, the weather here has been lovely and it's been so nice just to be able to enjoy the garden and um, sit outside um, have a bit of fresh air get some vitamin D I even managed to dry the washing on the line today, which was quite an achievement because I don't know if you know much about Manchester, but normally it's raining here uh, most of the time. So um, yeah, we've been extremely lucky. Oops, I haven't switched, put this on very straight. Have I? Let's just try again. So this card it will fit in here like so and you, you stick it in so that it's more you know equal distance top and bottom and side to side so more or less like that so it will look like this eventually um, so I'm going to do that now so you just glue the back the back of the card And it's going to stick onto the, obviously, onto the, the base of the card. So let's just get that straight. I have a bit of astigmatism, so I'm not very good at, at getting things totally straight. But anyway, so, so that's, that is the base of the card. So it opens out like this. You can um, add some white paper or card or something pretty here to write your uh, message. And then the card stands up like that. So I'm just going to decorate the front. I've got a few bits here. So um, I received this lovely little card which has got um, a vellum butterfly wrapped around it. Um, it is actually it does actually open, but I put this little gem here to keep it closed, and it says love on it. And this was uh, amongst the winnings that I got from the lovely Tammy of Tambara Lily Crafts. So I thought I'm going to stick that here, and then I've got some die cuts of um, a bit of foliage in yellow. It, well, it's not yellow. It's sort of a 
creamy colour, which kind of tones in with the colour of this pattern paper here. And this has also got some similar tones in it. And then I thought I'd just stick a couple of flowers here to, to that. And then I'm going to put the happy birthday up here. So, um, so I'll just do that. So again, all of these things that I'm, I'm adding on were in my stash. I haven't, you know, stopped to die cut anything. I haven't uh, anything. I've just looked in my stash and used things that I've got. Um, when Kate was showing the original to do how to do this on her channel, she said that this was a great way to use up um, papers from the same pad because they would all harmonize with one another. Um, but actually what I did is I just went to my stash of a, a, a 6 by 6 papers and looked for three that I liked that went together. Um, because also I, I didn't want too much pattern. Um, I think hers were all three different patterned papers and it looked really nice when she'd finished but I prefer to have something plain somewhere in the in the uh, card so um so that's why i thought well i'm going to look and see if i can find some papers that that um that i can mix and match with really um so that's what i did so just sticking these here and i'm going to put this on foam um, some foam squares here. I don't like these tiny little squares, but if I've got them, I need to use them up. Um, I didn't realise, you know, when when I I bought these that they were so small, and um, I had bought them for my brother because the, I think Hobbycraft were doing a an offer with a, you know several different sizes of um, foam squares. Um, together so you know there were bigger ones and smaller ones and of course he found these ones extremely fiddly which I can have to say I do as well but um, <laughs> so he didn't want to use them so, so I ended up with them so there we are so there we are so this says on your birthday and I'm just going to put that there and that's my final card there so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to take part in this challenge, uh, there are no prizes as such. It's just a bit of fun, but it is also a way of learning new techniques or doing new things, challenging ourselves. And um, for me, you know, it's a, another great way to use up my stash. Um, and uh, I've really enjoyed it. So... Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.